Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss how to manage the reservation method in Odoo 16 inventory module. So reservation method help you to reserve the product during certain operations. The operations can be internal transfers, manufacturing, pick, pack, and there are many operations types that you can reserve the product. So Odoo provide three types of reservation at confirmation, manually, and scheduled date. So when you set the reservation method as at confirmation, you can reserve the product during the confirmation of sale order and Odo will automatically reserve the product. And when you choose a reservation method as manually, then when you confirm the sale order, you need to manually check the uh, availability of the product. Then only you can reserve the product. When you set the reservation method as scheduled date, you can reserve the product uh, by mentioning the number of days before dispatching of the product. So this ensures uh, the availability of the product. So let's check how to manage the reservation method in Odoo 16 inventory module. So let's get into the inventory module and you can see different operation types in inventory overview window. So we can also manage the uh, reservation method from the configuration and you can choose uh, operation types. So here you can see different operation types. So when you choose the operations type like internal transfers, you can see reservation method is visible under operation types. Now let's back to the overview window. So we can manage uh, the reservation method for different operations like internal transfers, delivery orders, pick components, manufacturing, store, store finished products, as well as for pick operation and for pack operations. So if you want to make visible the pick and pack operations, you can choose the configuration settings and you can uh, search for the warehouses and you can set, uh, yeah, you can see the warehouses is here and you can choose the warehouse and you can set the outgoing shipment as a uh, pack goods sent goods in output and deliver, uh, then deliver. That is, uh, we will be performing the delivery in three uh, steps. Now, when you save this, you can see that under uh, the overview, we have the operations like pick and pack. So when you choose the internal transfers and configuration, you can see the option of uh, reservation method under the operation type internal transfers. Let's check each of the operation. Now click on trade routes and configuration here. You can see the operation type has uh, the reservation method. And when you click on trade routes and under configuration, you can see the reservation method for pack. And under delivery orders also, you can manage the reservation method. Now, when you choose uh, the pick components, you can see uh, the reservation method is also available for the operation type pick component. Now, you can choose uh, the manufacturing. So, you can also reserve uh, the products uh, for, I mean, uh, while manufacturing. So, you can also choose manufacturing as the operation type and you can also set the reservation for store finished products okay now you can also set uh, the reservation type for uh, resupply subcontractor now let me uh, go back to the uh, configuration and choose warehouse now let's set the outgoing shipment uh, in deliver goods directly to the customer now let me save this so you could manage for different operations uh, the reservation method. So currently I'm going to demonstrate through the delivery orders. So let me choose the delivery orders and click on configuration and you can set the reservation method as at confirmation. So when you set the reservation method as at confirmation, whenever you create a sale order uh, or quotation and you confirm the, uh, the invoice, you can see order will automatically confirm or order will automatically reserve the product. So let's back to the sales module. And you can click on new to create a quotation and you can fill the details of the customer and order lines by choosing a product. So the product will uh, be cabinet with door with one quantity and unit price as $140. And when you confirm the order, you can see order will create a trigger a delivery smart app and here you can see that the product availability is currently available and we have demanded for one quantity and set the reservation method as one so that the quantity reserved by Odoo is one that is automatically one quantity is reserved. Now you can set the quantities and make delivery by clicking the button.
So we have completed the delivery. Now let's back to the inventory module and choose the operation type that is delivery orders and you can click on configuration and you can choose uh, the reservation method as manually. Now, uh, yeah, I have skipped one thing. You can choose the operation types like uh, from here, like delivery, internal transfers and manufacturing directly from this window. So currently we are choosing the delivery, uh, any type of operation as delivery. So you can set it as a uh, delivery. Now let me choose a reservation method as manual. So when you choose a reservation method as manual and when you confirm every invoice, uh, you need to check the availability of product. That is, you need to reserve manually the product. So let's back to this sales module and let me create a new quotation. So you can choose a, uh, you can choose a customer, let like the customer be acquired and you can choose a product that is cabinet with door with one quantity and unit price as 140. Now you can confirm the order and when you click on the delivery orders, you can see another tab uh, like another button that is check availability as you set the reservation method as manually you need to uh, manually reserve the product and here we can see that the reserved uh, i mean under reserved field uh, it shows that uh, it's currently available so when you click on check availability you can see you have manually reserved one quantity of product and you can see that the product availability is currently available so in order to make delivery you need to set the quantity and click on bank date button so that you can complete the delivery to the customer now let's back to the inventory module and let me choose the delivery orders that is uh, yeah and you can choose configuration and you can set the uh, reservation method as before schedule date that is you can uh, provide how many days before the date the product should be reserved for delivery? So this ensures that uh, the products are available for delivery. Now we can set a reserve date for this. So let me set one as the date. So one day before the delivery, uh, the product will be reserved. Now you can uh, choose a product. So let me choose a product as cabinet with door. And under inventory tab, you can see uh yeah a field uh called customer lead time so let me set the customer lead time as one and you can see that customer lead time uh means that is a delivery lead time and it is the number of days uh promised to deliver the product to the customer so after the confirmation of the sale order now you can save the product and let me back to the sales module and you can choose an invoice and can fill the details so let me choose the uh customer as acquired or any other customer so let it be number peter and you can fill the order lines by choosing a product so let me choose the product that we have set the uh, customer lead time so uh, choosing cabinet with door with one quantity and unit price as 140 and you can confirm the order so when you confirm the order here you can see a delivery smart tab is triggered and when you uh, choose the delivery smart tab here you can see the Schedule date because we have set a schedule date. So here we can see the schedule date and the product availability. The product is currently available. And one day before the delivery of the product, the product is currently reserved. Now, in order to complete the delivery, you can set the quantities and click on validate button so that the product is currently uh, delivered. The reservation method helps you to smooth the operations of product. So thank you for watching the video.